Hi there, I'm gonna show you how to prep and paint this brand new exterior door. Let's get into it, shall we? Yo, what's cracking, folks? Jeremy Vassar here. I'm a professional painter and I've got another little tutorial for you here today. Uh, we're dealing with a brand new entry door. The other side of this is raw wood or was. I just finished staining and polyurethaning it, uh, but this side of it has been factory primed. Uh, so that is what we're gonna be painting today. And it's just this face of the door. The heel and the toe were raw wood, and just because of the way this door is getting installed, it made more sense to stain and poly those as well. So again, we're just dealing with the face of it. So I'm gonna take you through the prep process and then how to do our actual finish coats. There's a couple things we're gonna do to prep out this door. Um, mainly, I'm just gonna fill these nail holes that are up against the glass here. I'm using uh, sh shrink-free spackling from Sherwin-Williams. And uh, there's a lot of exterior fillers you can use, just make sure they're rated for exterior use. But these are just tiny little pinholes that I'm gonna fill. Nail holes, and I'll kind of be talking about the products that I'm using as we get to each step. Filling little nail holes like this, I, I've just found that using my finger is the best. I just want the hole filled nice and flush with the surface that it's up against. Uh, and then I'll do a little light sand once this dries. The next step in the prep process, uh, while I wait for that spackle to dry, uh, is I'm gonna do a little bit of taping. I'm gonna tape the bottom coping, uh, cause I don't want the paint to fleck down on that. And I'm also gonna be taping the heel and the toe of the door because I'm gonna be rolling these and I just think it's gonna be the best way for me to get a clean line. We'll find out. You can see down here, this is the coping that I'm gonna tape off. So we'll have that done in a second. That's just what that looks like right there. Nothing crazy. All right, so this is the edge I'm taping. I just want to keep this kind of factory line that's here. And uh, since I just polyed this uh, and it's all dry and everything, I feel like taping it's going to be my best move. In general, I find it's easier on this kind of taping to do little pieces I'm really trying to have a real clean line here, similar to uh, putting decals on Legos, if any of you remember that process. Just make sure if you're ever taping something like this too, you really want to, you know, use your thumb or your finger to seal in the edge where the tape that you're painting is going to hit that tape. So just seal that in super good. So same process on this side, use small pieces to get your clean line here. I like to keep the tape nice and taut as I lay it in, which helps you get a nice clean line. My wood filler is dry, so I'm gonna go ahead and sand that. And I'm just gonna use, uh, this particular filler is very soft, so I'm just gonna use 220 grit sandpaper and ever so gently uh, go around and sand them all. So this is what the prep door looks like. I've got nice clean tape line right here. This is nice and sealed in. It's taped down there. And then also on the toe here, so it should be in good shape. And now what I'm gonna do is actually start laying down my finish coats and I just need to cut in a few spots basically right up against this glass, this piece here, and then down low up against that bottom tape because uh, that's the only place where my roller can't get right into. Now that the door is prepped, I'm ready to lay down my finish coats of paint. And for today, I'll be using Regal Select More Guards Low Luster. Uh, from Benjamin Moore. It's one of my favorite exterior paints. A side note, typically on doors and shutters and trim and stuff, I like using the More Glow Soft Gloss, uh, which is like a semi-gloss. Just holds up a little bit better, but in this case, the Low Luster is a little bit more like a satin or even a little bit lower sheen than that. The reason we're doing that is because I'm matching the sheen to what's already existing on the old farmhouse. Uh, so just take that for what you will, uh, but uh, here we go. And what I'm gonna do first is just cut in the few spots that I can't get to with my roller, uh, which is gonna be up against this glass 
and then uh, down against the uh, coping on the bottom of the door. Everything else I will uh, do with a roller and I'm just gonna use a small inch and a half Corona Cortez to do my cut-ins because they're not big cut-ins. All right, so the door is now ready to be rolled. And uh, for that process, I'm using a little bit of a newer product, at least to me, it's a flock roller from All Pro. It's similar to a foam roller, but it has little hairs in it that pop the bubbles that often get formed by foam rollers. I just used one uh, yesterday to lay down some satin polyurethane on a board and it did really well. Uh, so I wanna see how it's gonna do uh, with this paint. Yeah, and I'm using just a little mini uh, roller frame. I'll kind of show you what it looks like. So there you go there, and you can kind of see the foam part and then the little hairy part on the outside, which kind of aids in the super smooth finish, or uh, so I'm told. We're just gonna roll kind of with the, uh, like on the horizontal, we're gonna go this way, and then on the verticals, we're gonna go up and down. And funny enough, I'm using a tiny four inch mini roller and the only pan that I had in my truck with it had an insert in it uh, is a 14 inch pan, uh, which is unnecessary. So you don't need one that big, but that's what I had, so that's what I'm using. Just laying it down pretty good. So far, happy with it. It's, it doesn't hold a lot of paint, so it's going on pretty thin, which is fine. If you've been finding this video useful, then I've got something else you might be interested in, and that is our beginner's guide to interior painting. It's a course I developed specifically for you fine folks at home where you'll learn the tools to use, paints to buy, and also the skills and techniques required to paint the interior of your home. On top of all the course material and future course material that we'll be developing, you also get access to our customer support, which means if you run into any problems on your own job site, something that wasn't covered in some of the videos, then you can message us directly inside of the app. You can send us videos, you can send us pictures. We'll take a look and get back to you within 24 hours. All your questions will be answered by professional painters, probably me, because that's what I'm doing. And uh, bottom line is, I really want to help you paint the inside of your house, and I think we can do it together. If that's something you're interested in, check out the link in the description. Now, back to the video. All right, so here is the door after one coat. And the cut-ins around here, it's a little dark and a little heavy build right here. So when I uh, cut this in again, I'm gonna stay super tight uh, right in here and not get any kind of uh, on this piece here, uh, just cause also the roller, it's gonna take three coats for sure. Uh, just because the roller lays it down really thin, uh, which is fine because this is like, and I like the stipple pattern on this, but I just need to cut in a little tighter on these so it looks a little bit better. I'm also gonna lightly sand a few spots here. Alrighty, so the second coat is dry and uh, I'm just gonna lightly sand again with 220, some of the rougher spots that I saw. Um, and then I'll do the third and final coat. Alrighty, so the third and final coat is dry on this door. So now we just have to uh, tidy up a few things and then it'll be ready to go. I'm gonna pull tape on the heel and the toe and also on that uh, piece of weather stripping at the bottom. And then I've got my little razor blade and I'm gonna scrape off very delicately uh, any, any paint that I got on the glass. So those are the last couple things and then we'll be ready to go. Hopefully we get a good pull. Oh yeah. Nice. It's pretty good. A little bit of weed through, we'll scrape that. Tape 
pull is actually really good. Boom, very nice. Very light amount of scraping, very delicately. We don't want to scratch the glass. I believe this is tempered glass. All right, so this door is all done on my end. It's gonna get installed here in a couple days. Uh, and I finished the door frame and stuff as well. But uh, everything turned out pretty well. One key takeaway for me is that I really liked this frock uh, roller cover. Um, it's probably one of the first or second times I've used one of these and they work really well to lay down a sprayed like finish on anything that you're rolling. Uh, one of the issues you can run into with foam rollers is they leave bubbles in the paint or whatever product you lay down. But the frock uh, on the outside of this, the little hairs, pop those bubbles. Uh, so it's a it's a it's quite a, a pleasant looking finish, uh, at least to my eye. So if you're you know rolling some flat panel doors or something you want to up your finish quality check those out they're uh, definitely worth a looky-loo and if you'd like to see a review of a product that i really like as well you can check out my review of fresh start primer from benjamin moore it'll be right over here i actually just used it today on a door frame uh, which then i had to uh, prime and paint so anyway until next time y'all take it easy work smart have a good one Bye.